الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد. The holy month of Ramadan is greeted by fasting and it departs from us quickly. And as we are saying farewell to Ramadan this year bi idnillah ta'ala, we have to look at ourselves. Did we benefit from Ramadan? Were we of those people who reflected on the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and read the Quran often and who really fasted by safeguarding our tongues by safeguarding our private parts and by abstaining from eating and drinking were we of those who were seeking the reward of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and in the depths of the night praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala salat al-layl, qiyam al-layl and tarawih were we of those who benefited in our manners? Did, our, did we begin to reform ourselves? Did we reflect on our mistakes? Did we look forward to the reward of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and look forward to reforming ourselves? This is what we have to ask ourselves. What are the lessons that we benefited from this holy month? Although the month is not quite complete at the time of this sitting, but you want to ask yourself, once you do finish bi'idnillah ta'ala, did I benefit anything? Am I a better Muslim? Is my belief stronger in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Because the person who fasts for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, his reward is, is azim, his or her reward is great. Because their sins will be forgiven. As it came in the hadith of Abi Huraira, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, أن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قال صلوات خمس والجمعة إلى الجمعة ورمضان إلى رمضان كفارة ما بينهن إذا اجتنب الكبائر اجتنب الكبائر رواه مسلم أخرجه مسلم <coughs> In this hadith which illustrates for us the importance of looking forward and having our sins forgiven is a hadith of Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu where the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that the five daily prayers and Salatul Jumwa to the next Salatul Jumwa and Ramadan to the next Ramadan are all things that expiate one's sins as long as a person stays away from the major sins so that shows us the importance of fasting the month of Ramadan and gaining the lessons that are contained in Ramadan, contained in Ramadan, and seeking the forgiveness of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala during this holy month of Ramadan. So that it's great, and it's something all of us, our hearts should be on that. And as it came in another hadith that was collected in Bukhari and Muslim by Abi Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu, a hadith narrated by Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu, that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, من صام رمضان إيمان والاحتساب غفر له ما تقدم من ذنبي. That the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said, whoever fasts the month of Ramadan, إيمانا, وَاحْتِسَابًا then his previous sins will be forgiven. إِمَانًا refers to that the person had pure iman and faith in Allah the Almighty and was pleased with the obligation of fasting that it was an obligation upon him from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that the believer was pleased with this this is the one who fasts iman and that they had firm faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and in his obligation وَإِحْتِسَابًا the Prophet sallallahu mentioned إِحْتِسَابًا meaning that they are seeking the reward and the ajr and the blessings and the favor of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
without any doubt that that reward will come. This is the affair of the the person who fasts. This is the one seeking the reward and who benefited from this month. As we say farewell to this holy month, this is the person who benefited from their Ramadan. Was there an effect upon their, his or her actions? This is what you have to ask yourself. Ask yourself. Check yourself. Look on your checklist. See, did you make some improvements in your manners? Are you now better at the end of the month? And now, and once you uh, finish the month, inshallah ta'ala, are you better in your manners? Are you better? Do you lower your gaze more often? Do you stay away from the prohibited things for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? These are the ways in which we can see is our fast, was our fast accepted and did we receive reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or was it just an exercise, an exercise of restraining ourselves from food and drink and we've lost some weight or we've trimmed and, and become more fit. That's how we, the Muslim, the mu'min is looking to those things to look to see where he or her is on that scale. Are their manners reformed? Are they closer to Allah? Do they read Quran more often? Did they reflect on the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? And are they carrying those things out into their regular daily life? Are they going to be haris and coming to the masjid now, the men? Are they going to be continually in the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reflecting on the ayats? And I ask Allah the Almighty to bless us to be of those whose fast was accepted. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to be of those whose fast who, whose sins are forgiven during this holy month and may Allah tabarak wa ta'ala bless us with Jannah of Fardos and bless us to enter the gates of the people of Ahl Jannah uh, the people who, who who's enter the gate of fasting wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad